Hi friends, we would be discussing on why vaginal infections are dangerous in pregnancy and how we can prevent them. Vaginal infection hai ya nahi hai, sabse pehle to ye janna zaruri hai. Har vaginal discharge is not a vaginal infection. Kuch physiological problems hoti hain, kuch physiological changes hoti hain in pregnancy like हमारे विजाना से सिक्रीशंस का फॉर्मेशन ज़्यादा हो जाता है, डिस्चार्ज, फिजियोलॉजिकल डिस्चार्ज ज़्यादा हो जाता है, बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ मोर वेस्कुलरिटी एट द टाइम ऑफ़ प्रेगनेंसी, सो दिस इज़ नॉट इन्फेक्शन, ऑल डिस्चार्ज इज़ नॉट इन्फेक्शन, अ डिस्चार्ज इफ़ इट इज़ क्लियर, इफ़ इट इज़ then it is not a vaginal infection. So now, if you have a vaginal infection, then the discharge will be too much. It will be uh, copious. It will be smelling. It will be sticky. And it will be itchy also. So now, if you are having a vaginal infection, then we should know what it can be. A vaginal infection can be because of it is increased at the time of pregnancy because pregnancy is an immunocompromised state. We get more prone to catch infections. It can be in diabetics. Why in diabetics? Because diabetics have a, a tendency to get more infections. So even in diabetes, vaginal infections also increase. It can be in other medical problems. It can be more in the patients, in the women who are using oral contraceptive pills for pregnancy prevention. It can be more if you are suffering from some disorder in which some infection in which you are taking antibiotics. So in all these problems, vaginal infections can be more. Now this infection could be because of a candida infection like fungal infection, it could be a mixed bacterial infection, it could be a group B streptococcal infection, it could be dangerous things like chlamydia and gonorrhea also. Why dangerous? Because it can have a profound impact on the fetus inside you. So how can this vaginal infection uh, cause problems in your pregnancy? See, vagina is a part in which the cervix, the uterus opens up. Uterus, yani ki bachche dani, cervix se hote hue, vagina mein khulti hai. Cervix, vagina, exterior, cervix ke exterior mein vagina hota hai. Agar wo vagina infected hai, to cervical canal ke through, endocervical canal ke through, infection uterus tak ja sakta hai, aur wahaan pe, humare fetus ko affect kar sakta hai. Membranes ko, वीक कर सकता है और हमारी मेम्ब्रेन्स ब्रेक हो सकती हैं जैसे कि लीकिंग पर विजानम का प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है तो लीकिंग होने की वजह से हमारी प्रीमेचोर प्रेगनेंसी हमें टर्मिनेट करनी पड़ती है या हमको अबॉर्शन्स हो सकते हैं तो इसीलिए विजानल इन्फेक्शन से हमको प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है विजानल इन्फेक्शन अगर ऊपर जाके प्रेगनेंसी में लीकिंग नहीं कराएगा तो वो कभी कभी प्लेसेंटा के थ्रू यूट्रस में पल रहे फीटस तक पहुंच के उसमें कभी कभी कंजेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स भी कंजेंटल इन्फेक्शंस भी पैदा कर सकता है जिसमें कि कुछ ग्रेव प्रॉब्लम्स भी हो सकती हैं जैसे कि माइक्रोकेफेलस भी हो सकता है और भी बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स हो सकती हैं जो कि बाद में 18 वीक्स 20 वीक्स या उससे भी बाद में अल्ट्रासाउंड पे पता लगती हैं या कभी कभी बच्चा पैदा होने के बाद पता लगती हैं तो ये प्रॉब्लम्स अगर हम प्रिवेंट कर सकें किसी तरीके से तो हमें मदद मिल सकती है डायग्नोस करने का तरीका बहुत आसान है जैसे ही आपको कुछ सस्पेशियस विजानल डिस्चार्ज लगे जैसे कि मैंने आपको पहले बताया कि इट इज कॉपियस इट इज नॉट क्लियर इट इज स्मेली एंड इट इज इची इफ यू आर हैविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम देन यू शुड नॉट अवॉइड गोइंग टू द डॉक्टर यू शुड गो टू हर एंड टेल हर शी विल गिव यू सम मेडिसिन if it is not cured by the simple medicines, then we can go for a vaginal swab. And in a vaginal swab, jo infection aata hai, 
जिससे वो ससेप्टेबल है जिस एंटीबायोटिक से वो ससेप्टेबल है उसके लिए हम एक लोकल एंटीबायोटिक पेसरी भी दे सकते हैं और दवाई खाने वाली भी दे सकते हैं अब अगर हम समय पर चले जाते हैं तो हमारी बहुत जल्दी जब हमारा इन्फेक्शन बहुत अर्ली स्टेज में है वेजाना में ही सीमित है तभी हम उसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं देन कम्स अब हम उसको प्रिवेंट कैसे करें हम चाहते हैं कि हमको एक बार भी पूरी नाइन मंथ्स ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी में वेजाना इन्फेक्शन ना हो तो सबसे पहला ये ज़रूरी है पेरीनियल हाइजीन मेंटेन करना पेरीनियल हाइजीन मेंटेन करने के लिए सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट जो प्रॉब्लम बचने का तरीका है वो है फ्रीक्वेंट चेंज ऑफ अंडर अगर आपको दो बार अंडर अगर आप चेंज करते हैं वंस एट द टाइम ऑफ हैविंग अ बाथ एंड वन एट द टाइम ऑफ स्लीपिंग बिफोर गोइंग टू स्लीप यू शुड वॉच your lower body even in winters we can just wash the lower part of our body and we can change the undergarment so that uh, the undergarment is not uh, having any secretions of the whole day okay so once we change the undergarments then it is a big protection to us the other is use of simple lukewarm water and a perineal wash just like a face wash we can use perineal wash and this is medicated and this is not uh, anything which is some uh, uh, thing which is going to give us a good smell or something but it will just give us a better hygiene then uh, whatever undergarment a lady is wearing should be sun dried the clothes should be washed and properly sun dried even in winters even in rainy seasons we should have an extra set of undergarments so that we are not using any moist or undried little moist also we should not wear then it should be a rule that only cotton undergarments should be used no fancy silken no fancy nylon undergarments should be worn at least by a pregnant women then when a lady is going or even this habit should be inculcated in a young girl also once she is washing after defecation after going to the uh, toilet even if she is washing then a lady or a girl should wipe the perineum from the front to the back so that any soiled matter from the back should not come to the vaginal area in the front we should use hand held shower from the front to wash after defecation not the jet which is coming from behind so i tell the ladies who are coming to me to get a hand held shower in their toilet seats fixed and a girl should not use a lady should not use a jet which comes from behind so a hand held shower will help us in a, this problem then after every urination the perineum should not be washed but if you are in a habit of washing the perineum even after urination even after uh, even if you go to uh, toilet to pass urine for at least 6 or 7 times even if you are in a habit of using water for cleaning then it should be dried with a clean cotton towel so that when you are wearing your undergarments they do not become moist they do not become wet so it is very important that the area should be dry enough so that it does not catch infection these are the simple things and of course avoiding multiple sexual partners and always using a barrier like a condom at the time of contact even if a lady is having a menopause even if a lady is uh, using some other contraceptive method a barrier method will help her in preventing her body to get any infection from the husband so avoiding multiple sexual partners for a woman as well as the husband is very important to prevent vaginal infections in women and if all these pre prevention methods preventive methods are taken then the whole nine months will pass without getting any vaginal infections and without 
causing any harm to the fetus who is inside your womb. So friends, just take proper care and even if you have the infection, do not avoid going and meeting the doctor so that the problem should not increase. Thank you so much.